Driving Test UK, the short notice driving test specialist. Jay is just about to start his driving test at the Borham Wood Driving Test Centre. The driving examiner has checked his photocard provisional driving licence and has conducted an eyesight test. If you are new to this area, please try to arrive early as the driving test centre is quite difficult to find. The postcode for the test centre will not take you to the test centre itself but will take you at least two or three minutes drive away from the centre. The driving examiner has asked us to turn right. When turning out of the car park, edge out very, very slowly as its view is restricted due to parked vehicles. The driving examiner has now asked Jay to turn left onto Ripon Way. You will notice there are parked cars on both sides of the road and the road is fairly narrow. Be ready to give way to oncoming vehicles. There are quite a few humps in this area. Do try to check mirrors for each and every single hump. The driving examiner has asked Jay to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. During the driving test you will find the examiner will ask you to stop at least four or five different times. Make sure you check the blind spot before moving off. At the roundabout, Jay has been inst instructed to turn left, that is the first exit. This is Crane's Way. At the end of the road, we have been asked to turn right. This is Furs Hill Road going towards the town centre.
If the driving examiner does not say anything on approach to traffic lights, a roundabout or any other junction, assume you're going to go straight on. We have just turned left into Tennyson Avenue and the driving examiner has asked Jay to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. This time it's for the purpose of the turn in the road exercise. This is commonly called a three-point turn, however, it does not have to be done in three moves. The driving examiner will ask you to turn the vehicle around, facing the opposite direction, using both forward and reverse gears. Avoid touching the curb. Observation during the exercise is just as important as control of the exercise itself. At the end of this road, we will turn left, back onto First Hill Road, towards the town centre. We have just turned right at the mini roundabout into Hillside Avenue. Once again, the driving examiner has asked Jay to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. On a road with humps, it is a good idea to check mirrors before each and every single hump. We have just turned left into Cardinal Avenue. The driving examiner has once again asked Jay to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe.
This time, it's for the purpose of starting the independent driving section of the driving test. The examiner has given the following instructions. At the end of this road, I would like you to turn right, and then, at the roundabout, follow the road towards Shanley. The driving examiner has then asked Jay to repeat the instructions, so he makes sure that Jay understood them. Once again, the instructions are to drive to the end of this road, turn right, and then follow the signs towards Shanley, which is the B5378. When driving on these narrow residential roads, keep a lookout for gaps so if you do see an oncoming vehicle, you can easily move in to the necessary space. Jay has just turned right. You need to make sure that both sides of the dual carriageway are clear before moving out. We are now watching the signs towards Shanley. There were no signs on approach to this roundabout, so we will just follow the road ahead, which is a second exit. This is currently a 30 mile an hour road, but do keep an eye on the road signs because they do change.
Again, there were no signs on approach to this roundabout, so we have just followed the road ahead. If you feel that you have missed a sign or you are unsure as to where to go, you can ask the examiner for confirmation. They will help you. The driving examiner has now asked Jay to follow the signs towards Well End. During the independent driving section of the test, the most important thing is that you continue to drive safely. Even if you go the wrong way, you will not fail the test as long as you continue to drive safely. At the roundabout, well end is towards the right.
the driving examiner has just informed Jay that the independent driving section of the test has now ended and he will direct him as normal. Bear in mind the speed limit on this road is 60 miles per hour national speed limit. You do not have to drive at 60 but the driving examiners do expect you to make progress and get up to at least 45 miles per hour. Speed limit now has changed to 40 miles per hour. The speed limit now has changed again to 30 miles per hour. This is Rowley Lane. At the roundabout we have followed the road ahead. This again is Rowley Lane. The driving examiner has asked Jay to turn right at the roundabout, the second exit.
If you're unsure as to where you are going, you can ask the examiner for confirmation. It's not a problem. We are now turning left into Thamesford Avenue. Remember, on these residential roads, the mirrors are very important. Be prepared to give way to oncoming vehicles. At the end of this road, we will turn left and then immediately right into Nicole Way. At the end of this road, the driving examiner has asked Jay to turn left. This is Ripon Way. We will now be turning right back into Stirling Way. In order to open the barriers, you need to enter a PIN, a four-digit PIN. The PIN will be on your email confirmation. It is quite tricky to enter the PIN, so it is advisable if you can get someone to stand near the entrance and enter the code for you. In this particular case, Jay has not opened the window to enter the code. He has got someone entering the code for him. Hello, I'm the voice behind the video. Firstly, a big congratulations to Jay on passing his driving test. Did you know that Bohemwood Driving Test Centre has a pass rate of less than 50%? Why not increase your chances of passing the test with these top driving test tips? Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test.